<laughs> I mean, you wouldn't want a fucking hurricane coming through, like? No. But I am. Yes! What about yes, honey? Yes! Oh! I'm reporting from two days later because the inevitable happened. We got suckered into town and we ended up going into Buena Vista, but for two good reasons. One, we have surpassed 4,000 euros and I had to celebrate because I drank all the meat a couple of nights before and uh, I wanted a beer. So, and then also I made a post on Facebook uh, that morning before we, we hit the highway and our good friend from the PCT days, Paps, actually seen that I was online, sent us a message and uh, he went fishing and he caught a few fish. So we ended up going in and having a few beers with him. The plan was just to have a beer and then leave again. But he convinced us to stay in his Airbnb and uh, he sorted that out, sorted out a few peaches later on at night as well, which is excellent. Thanks very much, Paps, you're a legend. And we ended up bumping into another legend, uh, from the PCT days, Bluebeard, we bumped into him yesterday, so he got service in the same spot that that uh, Paps caught us at, and uh, he made a he made a U turn, came back up to the pass, and we camped there last night. We had uh, we had quite a few beers, we had a few whiskeys, we had a stone throwing competition. The clouds rolled in, didn't see much of the sunset, but it was beautiful, and there wasn't too many cars passing at night time either. When we woke up this morning, we chilled out for a while, and we ended up bumping into another two legends from the PCT which was uh, Coach and Mitch. So unfortunately we couldn't hang around too long. They tried to twist our arms to go into town, but we said no. So we've got a tough day up ahead of us. So we had to keep going, but I'm going to get smashed into this day. We're going to try and make it to Lake Anne tonight. It's about 17 miles away from the highway. And I'm probably about two miles into that already. That's the first climb out of the way, and it wasn't too bad to be honest, about 1500 feet, and it was very gradual. We had, a, we had a nice start to the day, we had a gradual six mile downhill, chilled out down beside the river, well creek actually, had a bit of a swim, and the water was freezing, nice cold, it was good for my legs, I've been feeling weird sensations on my shins, and I've been feeling them for days now, and now with a new pack, I'm just trying to get used to the weight as well, so I only have about three days worth of food, so it's uh, it's a good way to break it in. But uh, I do have one more one more climb for the day. I've got to get over Anne Pass or Lake Anne Pass, which is uh, which should be another six miles from here. So I should have done about nine at this stage now, and then I'm going to try and camp at Lake Anne tonight because I'm trying to get into Twin Lakes tomorrow because there's a food truck that apparently uh, does an awesome burger, the CDT burger, and has pulled pork and patties and bacon, the whole shebang, everything. So I'm looking forward to that, but it closes at 5 p.m. So I'm trying to leave myself with 15 miles. Uh, Free wheels on, he's, he's in the, the same frame of mind. Uh, burgers, beers, BB, they're calling. We get very excited when the, 
when them words are whispered through the woods. So the plan is, try and get over this pass tonight and uh, get to the lake, have a swim, maybe have a fish, and uh, hopefully be eating a burger tomorrow. I suppose. <laughs> such, a, such a your dad move. <laughs> it looks like we're not going to make it over the pass tonight. It's just getting too late. I think it's already past seven o'clock. And to get over the pass, it would probably take at least another hour and a half, two hours. It's uh, it's over two miles. And I think, I think it might be about 1800 feet. So, and it's straight up. It looks pretty nasty. But look, not to worry. It's been a good day. Uh, today was all about catching up with our old friends from the PCT. And it was good to see them. But it was sad to say goodbye as well at the same time. It's just a pity our, our paths crossed very quickly. And uh, we were tempted to go into town, but, uh, but we said no to Meech and, and Coach. So I wished them on their way and told them to come and join us later on. But, but no, it was good. It was good to catch up with everyone. It was, uh, it was emotional saying goodbye because uh, that's the whole family catching up again from 2018. And that's what it really is. It really is one big family. Everyone's just in a good mood, no stress, no worries, and everyone's out to help each other out. So it's hard to explain what goes on out here. You can, it's, uh, you basically have to get out here and, and, and experience it for yourself. It's, uh, it's a friendship amongst people that I've never experienced in my life anywhere. So, and, uh, and it continues. More will join the group. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, them boys that we say goodbye to, Paps, Bluebeard, Meech, and, uh, and Coach, hopefully they, uh, they come and see us. Oh, and uh, Hot Sauce as well. Hopefully they come and see us further on up the trail, but we'll see. But I'm going to get down here now, try and find somebody to camp at the bottom of this pass, get up early in the morning, and attack the, uh, attack the pass in the morning, which would be good.